yes good afternoon everyone good afternoon today we are going to solve some more problems on the module one that is signal sense systems fundamentals and we are going to solve problems on e1 component and or component of a signal okay so here let me start with the numerical problems the first problem goes this way where you have to find out the even component and the odd component okay so part is nothing but the component of the signal that is x of t equals e power minus 2t into cos t okay so this is the question which is x of t equals e power minus 2t into cos t now we know that the even component of the signal is given by half of x of t plus half of x minus t and uh, this is what the formula earlier looks like i have reframed it a bit so this is how it looks like and the reduced form of it is half of x of t where half generally is the amplitude modification or amplitude scaling is being done here amplitude uh, scaling is being done okay so amplitude scaling okay so amplitude scaling is being done here next x of minus t okay so this is x of minus t where you are going to have e power 2t times cos t okay so this is uh, one thing that you are going to observe carefully here now the e1 component of a signal is half into x of t okay so half plus half into x of minus t half into x of t that is e power minus 2t into cos t plus half into e power 2t into cos t okay so let me take half as the common one where you are going to have cos t as the other one that is e power minus 2t plus e power 2t okay so you are going to have the e1 component of the signal as e power 2t plus e power minus 2t divided by 2 multiplied with cos t okay so once you are having e power minus 2t plus e power 2t divided by 2 that would be the e1 component of the signal okay so next what you are going to have you are going to have the odd component okay so you are going to find out the odd component of the signal that is x of t okay so if you are going to find out x of t that would be e power 2t minus e power minus 2t divided by 2 into cos t again okay so this is the odd component that is being present here x not of t that is the odd component this is the even component of the signal so this you are going to have the e1 component next you are going to find out the odd component like this okay so odd component and e1 component of the signal fine so this is how you are going to find out x e of t that would be equal to e power 2t plus e power minus 2t divided by 2 into cos t and x not of t that is the odd component that is e power 2t minus e power minus 2t divided by 2 into cos t okay so where you have to observe change t to minus t okay change t to minus t that is where you are going to observe the t1 and the odd component being changed, like calculated next one what you are going to find out again is the e1 and the odd component of the signals that is in discrete domain okay so discrete domain now observe carefully here you are going to have the arrow mark arrow mark arrow mark either present either present upwards upwards or downwards okay or downwards so if i write it like this either it is pointing to a number from up or to or down okay or down indicates indicates 
the origin indicates the origin what i wanted to mean here is so if i want to draw a signal which is the discrete one that is x of n the sketch of the signal would be like 0 it is 2 okay and at 1 so here it indicates n greater than 0 here it indicates n less than 0 this is one of the important concepts here so this is the arrow mark what i marked here so where you are going to have n greater than 0 and n less than 0 there so once you are going to have the values as 0 1 2 and 3 next you are going to have minus 1 next you are going to have minus 2 next you are going to have minus 3 okay so n this is minus n okay so now at 0 it is 2 and at 1 you are going to have minus 4 at 1 you are going to have minus 4 okay so this is the representation of it at 1 you are going to have minus 4 next at 2 at 2 you are going to again have 2 there at 2 you are going to have 2 there next minus 1 it is 1 somewhat around here you are going to have 1 at minus 2 you are going to have minus 3 okay this is uh, one important thing so we have sketched the signal based on the sequence of x of n so this is the sequence of x of n sequence of x of n which has been given here okay so now this is the given signal x of n okay so now what i will be doing is i'll be calculating the e1 component and the odd component of the signal that is given here half of x of n plus half of x of minus n again this is half of x of n minus half of x of minus n okay so observe uh, carefully from here onwards it is uh, quite easy for each and every one of us to solve it and let me quickly solve it yes yeah okay yes so now we can see that this is x of n so this is x of n what i need to do i need to again draw x of n just for uh, my convenience this is x of n okay so this is minus one this is minus two okay so this is somewhat around minus one minus two minus three then this is minus four this is one two three four this is five and this is zero okay so this is n five now x of n so zero it is two okay so zero this is two this is zero so having two at one okay at one you are going to have minus four at one you are going to have minus four okay next at 2 it is 2 at 2 it is 2 next at minus 1 it is 1 at minus 1 it is 1 okay next at minus 2 it is minus 3 at minus 2 carefully at minus 2 it is minus 3 okay so this is one thing that is x of n you're going to have at zero you're going to have two at one you're going to have minus four at minus two it is minus three at one it is one okay sorry at minus one it is one i repeat at minus one it is one so here it gives you the magnitude i repeat so minus three along with minus three it is the magnitude so please be clear in what you are uh, calculating the even and the odd component okay so now x of minus n okay so x of minus n i need to do it here x of minus n and again at zero it is 2 itself 
okay this is 2 0 okay at 1 okay so it takes a value minus 1 yes so at 2 okay okay at 2 we are going to take value minus 3 at 2 we are going to take a value minus 3 okay next minus 1 that is having a magnitude equal to again minus 4 okay next 2 it is 2 that is minus 2 at minus 2 it is again equal to 2 here cn okay yes let me rock this one too you not have too much uh, time yes so this is x of n and this is the reflected version of x of n reflected version of x of n so this is the original signal this is x of minus n okay so now what do i need to do here okay so i need to have first one that is half of x of n being uh, plotted Uh, quickly write the e1 component of the signal x e1 of n okay x e1 of n reduced to 1 is 2 again reduced to 1 so half of x of n that is 1 plus 1 that is again equal to 2 that is 2 plus 2 by 2 4 by 2 that will be 2 again okay so this is 2 now let me come to 1 at 1 you are having minus 4 at 1 you are having 1 here okay so half of x of n that is minus 2 plus 0.5 okay minus 2 plus 0.5 minus 1.5 somewhat around here that is minus 1.5 so this is the magnitude what it is that is minus 1.5 next that is 2 okay at 2 it is 2 and here at 2 it is minus 3 okay so this one which is 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 okay 2 that would be you can do it the other way also so this is half of uh, x of n that is 1 this one is minus 3 by 2 that is minus 1.5 okay minus 1.5 that is there so you can do it like that okay so you can uh, have the signal that is half of x of n so that is half of let let me do it here half of x of 2 okay that is half of x of 2 plus half of x of minus 2 that is there okay so if you look at the signal it would be 2 again you can uh, observe clearly that is 2 it is 2 here next at 2 this is minus 3 so 2 minus 3 okay 2 2 minus 3 there is minus 1 that is minus 0.5 okay so minus 0.5 is here this is minus 0.5 okay so this would be like here okay so now what is the next step that you are going to do what is the next step that you are going to do that is you are going to have the n value that is again it would be from the left hand side so minus 1 so at minus 1 it is 1 that is minus 4 minus 4 minus uh, plus 1 that is 3 uh, with a negative sign minus 3 minus 3 divided by 2 minus 1.5 okay so this is minus 1 that would be having 1.5 with a negative sign minus 2 that is minus 3 which is there okay minus 3 next you are going to have plus 2 that is minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 that is 0.5 at minus 2 it is 0.5 okay so this is one thing that you are going to clearly observe where You are going to have at zero it is two and at one it is minus one point five. Okay, if you observe carefully, this is the point here. Okay, so 
this is the e1 component of the signal okay so this is the e1 component of the signal okay so similarly you can calculate the odd component of the signal also okay so that would be half of x of n minus half of x of minus n okay so this is the reflected version what i mean here was when i gave 2 that is minus of 2 that is there okay minus of 2 okay so if you could analyze this is the x of minus n signal so what we have taken here is while writing the x of minus n signal itself okay so once we give the value for the e1 component that is there so it takes a value once you are having half of x of n and half of x of minus n so it takes the value at that time instant only okay at that time instant only you are going to calculate it for example don't think that it is minus 2 here so once i give n equals 2 okay you are going to have x e1 of 2 okay x e1 of 2 if i want to calculate that is half of x of 2 plus half of x of minus of minus 2 that is there okay so that is what you are going to do here so that would be plus 2 here itself okay so at that time instant if you are going to calculate it so it then it would be the same okay so see to it that you are going to follow the same steps there okay so this is the reflected signal that is x of minus n okay if you observe it clearly then you will okay so that is the e1 component and you have to calculate the component also yes so here we have uh, the signal where you are going to yes so here we are going to sketch the signal again that is x of n okay so that is uh, half of <coughs> sorry that is sketching of signal x1 of n that is 2 times x of 2n and the second one that is x2 of n that would be half of x of n half of x of n okay so let me sketch the signal x of n that is x of n signal that i am going to sketch right now minus 1 minus 2 0 this is 1 this is 2 okay next okay 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay this is 3 and 4 this is n okay so 0 minus 1 to 3 minus 1 to 3 you are going to have a magnitude equal to 1 okay at 4 you are going to have half the magnitude that is here okay so this is one thing that you are going to plot it it is a quite simple plot and zero it is elsewhere okay yes so this is x of n now what you have to do is half of x of n can be easily calculated x1 of n that is two times x of 2n okay if i want to observe x of 2n so it would be a compressed signal okay so let me draw a signal like this that is x of n so that would be from 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this one is 4 okay this is minus 1 this is minus 2 okay at minus 1 it is 1 0 it is 1 and 1 okay this is one thing that you are going to observe here hmm? this is x of n okay now yes so x of minus n you can generally calculate that we are not doing the even and the odd signal that is present here now what we can do here is you are going to have the two times x of 2n that is the first thing that you are going to compute x of n that would be equal to two times x of 2n okay so first step what we are going to do calculate calculate x of 2n so x of 2n so it is a compressed signal okay so x of 2n it is a compressed signal by a factor of 2 by a factor of 2 okay so compressed signal by a factor of 2. okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to 
have the compressed signal x of 2n being written then i am going to multiply again with the value what i have written there okay so on the time axis of x of n i need to divide by 2 there okay so divide by 2 if you observe here so i am dividing it by 2 okay so now what you are going to have so this is 0 this is 1 by 2 okay so this is 1 okay this is 3 by 2 that is uh, 1.5 next this is 4 by 2 that is 2 okay so only retain the discrete values and you can just ignore it okay so at 1 by 2 at 0 it was 1 okay and at 1 by 2 it is 1 we are not taking it and at 1 it is generally like this and at 2 it is 0.5 like this okay so this is the sketch what you are going to do and again you are going to disc uh, discard the values at uh, other values like uh, 0.5 is there 1.5 is there and minus 0.5 so those values you are going to discard it okay so those values you are going to discard okay now if you write it uh, here if you write it here that is x of 2n okay x of 2n if you write it or you can directly write 2 times x of 2n so at 0 it is 1 1 into 2 okay 1 into 2 i repeat that would be 2 here okay next at 1 at 1 that is 2 okay so this is 0.5 0.5 you can write it to be 1 by 2 you can take it down to 1 so this is 0 1 2 okay so the rest of the values at minus 1 also it is 0 okay so this is one thing that you are going to observe here carefully this is the sketch of x1 of n so x1 of n is said to be 2 times x of 2n okay so that is 2 times x of 2n clear so x1 of n equals 2 times x of 2n so x of 2n okay so is the signal that you have sketched okay so it's a compressed signal compressed signal by a factor of 2 by a factor of 2 okay so compressed signal by a factor of 2 okay so this is uh, the sketch of x1 of n sketch of x1 of n that is 2 times x of 2n okay so this is one thing that you are going to observe okay so next question would be next question would be half of x of n half of x of n you can uh, clearly write it from here itself okay so half of x of n it is just reducing the values there so let me write here half of x of n along the y axis okay next you are having n 0 1 2 3 4 1 1 minus 2 okay so now at 0 it is 1 Zero. It is one. Okay. So half of x of n. So x of n was there. So you need to reduce it by half. So it is amplitude scaling. It is amplitude scaling. Amplitude scaling. So that is half of x of n. So this is the scaling factor. That is half. So the magnitude would be. Okay. Yes. So this is minus one to three. Minus one to three. You are going to have a magnitude equal to point five. Okay. Point five. Next at four. Point five by two. That is point two five again. Okay. This is point two five. Okay. That is half of x of n. Okay. So half of x of n. That would be. X two of n that is the sketch, or you can write it to be x two of n that should be equal to half of x of n. So to the given signal x of n, okay, to the given signal f x of n, you can 
have the signal being written like this okay so if you observe carefully half of x of n is the amplitude scaling is the amplitude scaling okay so this is one thing that you are going to observe and this would be the sketch for half of x of n should be the sketch for half of x of n okay so this was uh, for the even and the odd component of the signal there okay so next one what we are going to do here is we are going to sketch certain signals okay we are going to sketch certain signals being uh, applied okay so let me start with this that is sketch sketch the following signals sketch the following signals given given x of n equals okay x of n equals 2 power n u of n plus 1 minus u of n minus 4 okay so x of n equals 2 power n u of n plus 1 minus u of n minus 4 okay again i repeat if you observe n it is said to be a discrete signal it is said to be the discrete time signal okay so if you observe n you can generally come across the discrete time signal next let me draw u of n signal first so at zero you are going to have the magnitude equal to one and later on as we proceed with zero one two three four and uh, so on you are going to have the n value will be greater than or equal to zero it is said to be equal to one so mathematically if i want to write u of n that would be having one and zero as the magnitude where n would be greater than zero okay so when n is greater than or equal to zero its magnitude equals one when n is less than zero then you are going to say that the magnitude is said to be zero okay so for minus one and minus two and so on okay you are going to have a zero magnitude of u of n okay so yes so let me write it five let me write it six again okay yes so now i need to write the signal for u of n plus one u of n plus one okay so for u of n plus one i just told you it is shifted towards the left by one unit shifted towards the left by one unit okay this is this is u of n plus one this is n okay next u of n minus four u of n minus four okay so zero this is one this is two this is three this is four okay so now you are going to have at four you are going to have the points being written like this five six seven and eight okay so each and every point at four five six seven and eight you're going to have a magnitude equal to one there okay again u of n magnitude will be equal to one so now what do i need to do here i need to take the subtraction u of n minus of u of n minus one so this is u of n minus four so if i want to take the minus sign there so what do i need to do again i have to go for the change in the amplitude as from plus one two it is minus one okay so let me erase it so at four it is minus one okay now if you observe carefully okay at uh, u of n plus one minus u of n minus four okay so that can be written as x of n let me two power n u of n plus one this is the multiplication sign n plus one plus of minus one u of n minus four okay so that is one thing okay so this is okay now if you observe carefully 
at minus one, it is one, and here it is zero. One plus zero, that is one. Okay, till three, you have to write it as one. Okay, so this is u of n plus one minus u of n minus four. That is equal to minus one. Three. Okay. So this is the point here where it would be zero. This is four. This would be the point where it would be zero. Okay. So now this is u of n plus one minus u of n minus four signal. Okay. So this signal, what I'm going to write here is the u of n plus one and u minus u of n minus four. Now what change needs to be done is you need to add the signal. Okay. You need sorry. You need to multiply the signal. Okay. So what you need to do here is you are having x of n that is two power n times the value. This signal whatever that is there. You need to keep keep on giving the value of n. Okay. So now what I am going to do here x of zero. X of one. If you observe carefully, x of two. That is x of three. Next, you are going to have the value as x of minus one. So it is said to be equal to one for all the values. What I am going to write the signal here is two power zero multiplied with one. Next, two power one multiplied with one. Okay. So two power two multiplied with one. So two power three multiplied with one. So two power minus one that is multiplied with one. So all these values, okay, all these values will have a magnitude equal to one there. Okay. So in other cases, it is said to be zero. X of minus two, I can write it to be two power minus two. And what's the value here? Minus two value. Okay. So there is no unit step function, shifted version of it, or any unit step function is not present. I can write this to be equal to zero here. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to draw the signal of x of n that is equal to two power n. Okay. U of n plus one minus u of n minus four. Okay. So this is one thing that you are going to draw here. Okay. So next, x of n signal. Let me plot it. So at zero, it is two power zero. That is equal to one there. Okay. Next, this is one. Let me write down the magnitude at minus one. So two power minus one. That is one by two. That is equal to point five. Okay. So let me write down here as point five. Okay. Now at one, two power one. That is equal to two. Okay. Next, two power three. That is equal to two power three equal to eight. Okay. So this is the Magnitude that is two. This is eight. Okay, so I'm just drawing the uh, values here. If you draw it according to the scale, it would be quite a large one. Okay, so x of n that would be the signal what I have plotted here. This is the x of n signal. Okay, so let me redraw it again. So this is two. Okay, zero at one. It is two power one two. Okay, at zero. Two power two. Okay, sorry, we have left out one. So at two power two, it is equal to four. Okay, so two and this one is three. Okay, so redrawing the signal x of n again. So this is x of n. So zero. Okay, this is one. This is two. One two. This is three. This is minus one. That is x of n. Okay, so x of n will be having two power n. U of n plus one. Minus u of n minus four. Okay, so it is left to you now to sketch the signal of the shifted version. So at zero it is one. At zero it is one. At minus one it is point five. Okay, point five. Next at one you are going to have two power one. That is two. Okay. Next at two you are going to have. Four, okay. Two, 
four at three you are going to have the signal as eight okay so this is one thing that you are going to observe clearly okay so this is x of n signal that i plotted here okay so now you need to sketch the signal for x of n minus 2 okay x of n minus 2 you are going to sketch the signal next you are going to have x of n plus 1 the signal next that is x of minus n plus 4 signal that is there next uh, the x of minus n minus 2 signal that you are going to sketch here okay so let me sketch for the signal number 3 and 4 i think 1 and 2 signal you are going to do it on your own okay so i am going to give it as an assignment and the remaining 3 and 4 signals i am going to plot it right now okay so x of minus n plus 4 okay if you observe x of minus n plus 4 here then what you are going to see okay so x of minus n plus 4 again follow the precedence rule here which is going to be like so let me draw x of n so if n at 0 it is 1 at 1 it is 2 and at 2 it is 4 and at 3 it is 8 okay so this is one thing that you are going to observe here okay and at minus 1 it is 0.5 okay so 0 1 2 and 3 okay so this is x of n okay so this is 1 2 4 and 8 okay so that is one thing that you are going to observe clearly x of n so this is one thing x of minus n plus 4 okay so minus n plus 4 so what you are going to do you are going to shift all the signals four units okay towards the left by four units that is x of n plus 4 what i'm going to call the signal as i'm going to call the signal as an intermediate signal okay so zero towards the left what i'm going to do here it is minus 5 this is minus 4 this is minus 3 this is minus 2 this is minus 1 this is zero okay so this is 4 you are going to have no signal okay so at minus 5 you are going to have 0.5 the signal here 0.5 magnitude 0.5 at minus 4 you are going to have a signal 1 okay next minus 3 you are going to have signal 2 next minus 2 you are going to have a signal 4 next minus 1 you are going to have signal 8 okay so at 0 it is 0 and at 1 also it is 0 okay so remaining uh, Terms would be zero itself. This one is also zero. Okay, so now the shifted version of it, that is v of minus n. You have to calculate. So v of minus n, if I want to calculate, so I'll be changing the directions. Okay, so how do I need to change the directions? Okay, so this is one thing. So it is a reflected version of v of minus n. Okay, so v of n. So v of minus n. Is equal to x of minus n plus four. Okay, so what do I have to do at one, two, three, four, and five? Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. So at five point five, at four it is one. Okay, at three it is two, and at two, and at two it is four, and at one it is eight. Okay, so this is one thing. we are going to clearly observe okay yes so this is what we had got this is 0.5 this is 1 this is 2 this is 4 this is 8 okay so we are going to observe it quite carefully and this is the sketch for v of minus n again we are going to use precedence rule again precedence rule precedence rule yes for time shifting for time shifting and time scaling time scaling also we have done here and reflection also reflection is what we had observed here time scaling is one in the given problem 
we have reflected it okay so meanwhile we will solve uh, some more problems in the next class okay we will stop it here i hope you have understood the session in the next class okay thank you